Father, do not forgive them, for they know what they are doing. Fifteen hundred years have passed since the day Jesus descended from the cross and took vengeance upon those who had put him there. Once he had done so, once he had wreaked bloody revenge upon Pilate and all who had aided him in Christ's persecution, he instructed his apostles to write new commandments and to write them in blood. Christianity in the game is different from Christianity in the real world. And this difference concerns uh, the idea of Jesus Christ. In the real world, Jesus was uh, merciful. He died on the cross for the sins of humanity, for mankind. And in the game world, the situation is different. Uh, Jesus is merciless here. He came down from the cross and killed all his enemies. Jesus was also the head of the church which is why the church is in the game is so powerful. The cross is broken here, and you can see it everywhere in the game world. The prayers are also different. Everything is turned upside down. Mercy is a sin. Revenge is a good deed. The church is rich and powerful, and uses religion to maintain the status. The church doesn't care about people. According to the idea of the religion, all people must be strong and take care of themselves but they also must obey the religion. And the Inquisitor's job is to take care of this. They are the judges and the executioners. That is why they so fear. A place shrouded in darkness, soaked with pain, guilt and fear. Few know of the Unworld's existence. Fewer still have been there, and almost none know of its true nature. It is a place filled with energy that has no form. It is the primordial, unformed chaos from which everything results, good or bad. A place that is beyond reality, time and space. It contains everything that humanity has ever thought about. It is the base of souls, the unity that brings together everything, all the knowledge of mankind, the source of the creation. This is paradise or hell. Everyone has potential to access it, but not all minds are capable of grasping it. It reflects the general conditions of mankind, in this case, evil. An ordinary mortal has no idea of the existence of the unworld. It goes beyond his reasoning, drives him mad at the mere thought of such a complex construction. If by some miracle he experiences the unworld, he will go mad. This is not a place for weak minds. The Unworld directly reflects the global state of human consciousness, filled with evil, fear, death and guilt in our realities. People actually do horrible, immoral things and then confess their sins in prayer with the hope of quick redemption. This type of behavior feeds the Unworld with sins, negative energy. All emotions and thoughts are directly reflected in the Unworld. If the world is bad, the Unworld will reflect it. As things stand in our game, the Unworld is hell, a place without hope. It is inhabited by beings that feed on the remnants of positive energy, the good intentions of people. They are the guardians of this place, protecting access to the Unworld from minds unprepared for the power and danger of this place. <laughs> 